Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today's video is going to be fun because we're going to use this really big container that I have. Now, what's interesting is it's got a bit of a foot. Uh, so straight away, what this allows us to do is lift the flowers up and really uh, we'll be able to see them a lot better. So what I've done is I've put a low tray into this container because I don't think it's waterproof and I've used a couple of these uh, mesh bricks uh, that are really, really useful for supporting the flowers. So I've put, I did have one that just sat in the tray and that was nice, but then I realized that I could actually put two side by side. So I've used a little bit of tape just to join them together. So they're sitting on top of the tray, but essentially your flowers are gonna pass through at least two, three, four places. So this is really gonna hold the flowers well. So flower wise, I've got a nice mix of greenery, but really we're going for a nice big traditional arrangement. So we've got some carnations, lisianthus, some chrysanthemums, limonium, wax flower. So really a big showy uh, sort of summer type arrangement. Now, I just wanna put a little bit of height into our design. So I'm gonna use a little touch of this is actually gladioli foliage. Uh, I've made good use of the gladioli that I've got growing in the garden for having in the house and just enjoying the flowers. But actually, the foliage makes a really good foliage on its own, uh, just to, to add to things. I'm gonna add a little bit of equisetum because I had it from a previous design. And this also just, is going to add a little bit of volume, a little bit of, uh, not light, but a little bit of uh, airiness to the design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in all our foliage. So you don't have to do that. It's a very traditional sort of way of making an arrangement is you start with your foliage. And when I'm doing something like this, the kind of key area actually is round the edge of the container. So if we don't make a nice job of that, then it's going to spoil the design. So it's worth just starting there and working our way round. This is quite a nice piece of ivy. Now normally I would put the ivy um, down a bit, but actually that's going to sit really nicely. So we'll have the ivy up a bit then and just let it fill that space is quite good. Now I've also got some beautiful eucalyptus. And as you can see, this frame really supports the flower as well. So if you were um, doing event flowers regularly, it's really worth making some of these for yourselves basically because there's no weight to them. So they're easy to transport. The only thing is they've got a bit of volume, but other than that, there's nothing, nothing to it. Now, uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that Cineria lower down. And I've got some nice sedum as well. So this is actually great having the rotating table and a lot of people ask me where did you get your turntable well I was very lucky that I had a friend who used to do a lot of floral demonstrations and her husband had made her this table um, and when she basically decided to stop doing it she said would you like it and of course yes <laughs> uh, a lot of the problem with some of these tables is that they're not particularly big uh, so if you're using different different size containers, you actually need a turntable that is quite big. So our ooh, now before I really put in too much of the flowers, I'm going to put in the filler, and the reason for that is it's so much easier to put it in at the start. So this is limonium. This is going to give us this light summer feeling that I was wanting to do. Because the container is light, then 
we're going with pastel colours, pretty pinks, and we'll just go with that from there. So this is a little bit of wax flour. Now it's nice and tall, so we'll not cut it short. We'll bring that up and that brings a bit of volume up into there. Thank you, Janos. <laughs> so the great thing with the wax flour, it's good for breaking down into little units. And the more material we add, the more that mechanic that we've got is just starting to disappear. Uh, and really, because it's a dark green, you're not actually really seeing it much anyway. So we'll add in our beautiful carnations. Now, every time I use these, I always tell the same story, so I'll not bother. But I will tell you that carnations were my mum's favourite flower. Um, she loved them and if she got carnations she would put them in a vase in the downstairs toilet and no one would ever see them but it was cooler there and uh, they would last longer but i don't see the point in them lasting longer if you don't actually see them you need to put your flowers somewhere where you can enjoy them and you get the use of them it doesn't matter if they last for two weeks as opposed to a month enjoy them but carnations will grow uh, will last really really well they've always been a good laster and that was why they were such a popular flower in the past now today we're so lucky that there's so many different varieties and colors and the growers really spent a lot of time thinking about how they could modernize the carnation and make it more attractive to a different audience or a younger audience and they've come up with so many different colors but for me i have to say i still love these ones that are slightly retro in style uh, you know they have a fleck or they have a you know like a um, an interesting kind of old-fashioned nature I think is quite nice. I've got a few of these Santini type croissants and um, we're just going to pop them in as well. So the croissants help give a bit of volume to a design. But really our main flower is also going to be these beautiful Lysianthus. And these are just beautiful. Now again with this, I can actually split them down into units. So I keep saying units for different um, things. What I basically mean is splitting it down into three usable parts or multiple usable parts as opposed to just having one piece uh, or one stem that's very, very heavy. So like putting that little bit there, but then taking this into the center, essentially we've put that color in two places rather than just one. So it can be a way of distributing the color, making a stem that's really heavy lighter, but also <coughs> just getting the best value out of the, the flowers that you've got. Excuse me. Now, I'm also wanting this not to just everything be at the same length. You want to have a little bit of recession that takes your eye in. And gives it a little bit of interest. Now, if you spot anything that is wrong, like I just spotted on one of those croissants there, there's a little broken head. You need to take them off. Uh, 
The main thing is you want everything to be in water. So no matter what, the flowers must, or the, and the greenery, they must reach the water source. If they don't, then your design's not going to last. That, and now that might work actually if you're deliberately making an arrangement that is for a function. Then, it, as long as it lasts for the length of time of the function, now I'm just adding a couple of echinacea. Um, if you're doing an event and you can get away with the flowers being out of water, then actually you can save yourself a lot of bother with floral foam or water. It could be a lot easier. And uh, as long as things last for what they're needed for, that's all that is important. Now, this is the type of arrangement that I can imagine in a hotel environment in maybe like the main entrance uh, or in a public area, like at the, maybe where corridors cross or on a console table, that type of place. So you are gonna want it to last. And by having the flowers essentially in water, they're gonna be so much happier. They're gonna last. And all you need to do is just pop your finger in and just check that they still have water. So really, to get the best out of this, you want to be checking it every day. Check it, add water, um, and don't let it dry out. Now, that's interesting. We've got a couple of buds on a main stem, and that is very usable. So we can bring that up into there. And that is us. We have made quite a large arrangement uh, relatively quickly. Now, how is it quick? Well, it's quick because essentially we're working in the round. Using the turntable, we're able to keep turning it and getting, uh, getting to see the arrangement from different sides. So we've got the carnations are giving us structure and volume and colour and interest. Our lisianthus is really giving us the floral element but we've added in little touches like the sedum, the echinacea, the little bit of cinerea, and that's breaking it up and making it much more interesting than it would be if it was really just carnations. The croissants are giving a bit of volume and uh, essentially the container is lifting everything up and making us really see it. Um, so overall, we've got a traditional style arrangement, but Actually, this is quite fashionable at the moment that we're making things in a more naturalistic style, um, in a relaxed style, which is really, really nice. And there we go. So a big arrangement, ideal for a big space. It's really going to catch the eye and have a lot of impact. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Let, let us know what you think in the comments below. Is this your style or would you ha rather have something different? Would this be the kind of gift that you would like to receive? Now, we've got new videos every week. We'd love you to join us for our future designs and hopefully inspire you to maybe get hands on yourself. So if you've not already subscribed, click to subscribe, tap the bell, and that gives you notifications of our new content. Now, in the description of this video, we're going to post a link for another video that we've done in the past. So if you're still feeling flowery, you're still looking for more inspiration, then you can go there and, and watch that video as well if you like. But until next time, stay safe, and we'll hope to see you soon.